if r is the position vector do you know what is the meaning of position vector yes sir yes sir say that the This is x axis, y axis. If r is the position vector of a particle, then what is dr by dt? Change the velocity. Am I right? Yes. Velocity yes, is dr by dt. Now, can I write r vector as R vector as its magnitude multiplied by a unit vector. Can I write it like this? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. This unit vector is in which direction? Sir, along, along the R vector. Along the R vector. Along the R vector. Now, if I differentiate this and I apply product rule, so I'll get d by dt of R magnitude, this thing into n cap. plus r magnitude into dn by dt zero nahi dn by dt is a vector its magnitude might be 1 but its direction it is constant it is vector of anything it is constant and cap is always constant no but is is the just tell me is the position vector constant no sir so how can a unit vector in its direction be a constant? Magnitude is constant. Magnitude is one, but direction can vary of the unit vector. So I will write this like this. Now just see. This is the, what is this? When I differentiate velocity, what is this? One minute. So this is, sorry, this is velocity. I haven't differentiated. This is, the rate at which the magnitude of the radius vector is changing, position vector is changing, and it is in the direction of n cap. So, if I show you on the graph, yes, so if this is r vector, then the rate at which the length of this vector is changing, and in this direction, it will represent the velocity in this direction, yes or no? Yes, sir. I call it as VR. VR is radial velocity. Velocity along the direction of radius vector. Therefore, this can be written as VR. Radial velocity. And that will be tangential because it is telling you that change in direction. Yes. And after some time you will realize that this will come out to be, this dn by dt will come out to be omega. Omega is the and the rate at which I'll appeal to this. It will come out to be if this is theta, then d theta by dt. d theta by dt will be the rate at which this vector is changing. So dn by dt will come out to be d theta by dt and it will become r omega ek tarah se. Jaise circular motion mein bolte na, v is equal to r omega. So this will be kind of tangential velocity v p or so please understand that the net velocity, yes, if from the calculus point of view, I'm trying to make you realize right now, it will not be needed anywhere. Right now, we'll just do it from the basics, from the layman's approach, the way you will learn circular motion. I'm just giving you a glimpse of calculus being used in the normal situation of finding velocity. Are you clear about this? Just note it down for the knowledge sake right now. Later stage, we'll be using it very extensively when we want to enter a little complicated set of problems. Right now, just note it down. Now, let's move ahead. Now, we are doing a topic called circular motion. This topic is a very interesting topic, simple topic, but it is the foundation of a topic called rotational motion which is like the climax of mechanics. So when you see a film and towards the last 20 minutes, you the, the portion of the film is called the climax of the film. Same way, rotation is the climax of whole mechanics. So there you will need this circular motion very extensively. So right now we will just 
not study the dynamics part, we'll just study the kinematics part, okay? Or we'll combine the two because we know uh, free body diagrams and all. So we will just understand what is circular motion. So can anyone tell me what do I mean by circular motion? See how perfect the circle is. Now, so when a body is moving in a circle, the motion is called circular motion and the topic is over. That's it. Everything else you already know. Everything that, that I'll do now, you already know. And let me see who can originally come up with those things. Let's see. Tell me one thing. This is a circle of radius r. A body is moving in this circle. If v0 is the speed with which the body is moving. First thing is, please tell me what is the angular speed about the center. Just give it a try. What is the derive karna hai? Aise nahi kya hua hai. So, V or omega mein kya relation hoga? V is the speed with which it is moving in the circle. Constant speed. And when a body moves in a circle with constant speed, that motion is called uniform circular motion. If the speed also changes, then non-uniform circular motion. So, right now, we are doing UCM. UCM bole do? Yes. So, so now tell me what is the relationship between V and Omega? It's a very simple thing. The only thing you need to know is length of arc is equal to uh, radius into theta. Theta is the angular displacement. What relation is? V0 is equal to R Omega. Yes. How did you do it? Zoom. Uh, the rate of change of the zoom is the rate of change of r theta uh, is equal to yeah, dekh lije. Koi baat nahi. it's okay just zoom out Haan, uh, let's all of you please focus on the board if suppose the body at any position moves an arc dl so this angle d theta they are related by what is the relationship? Can anyone tell me? DL is equal to R D theta. DL is equal to R D theta. Yes. By length of arc is equal to radius into D theta. Ye relationship to yeah, D theta is length of arc upon radius. This is how the angle angular displacement is defined. Hmm. Now divide by DT per second jo aega, wo ye ho because R is remaining constant. Or you could have just written L is equal to R theta, the relationship, and then differentiate both sides with respect to time. So DL by DT is equal to R is constant, D theta by DT. So this is the relationship. This gives you, what is DL by DT? D speed. The rate at which the distance is being covered, which is called speed, not velocity. This is speed. Is equal to... R into D theta by DT is angular velocity and rate of angular displacement. So it will be omega. So V is equal to R omega is the relationship you should remember at the moment for any kind of circular motion. Remember this. Now, one thing you can understand, very important thing is, is angular displacement, is angular velocity a vector or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. So, is angular displacement a vector or not? Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Angular displacement. It, it has to be. It has to be. It will be. No, it is not a vector. Why not? Angular displacement. Yeah, I'll explain to you. I'll explain to you that angular displacement is not a vector. So now, let me prove to you that angular velocity is not a vector. Uh, I mean angular displacement, sorry. Not angular velocity. Angular displacement is not a vector. In case of a vector, A plus B is equal to B plus A. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So is vector addition commutative or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll prove in case of angular displacements, A plus B is not equal to B plus A. So then therefore it is not a vector. I'll prove it to you. 
series. This register has the name, everything before. This is the initial position of the register. Now I'll give it two angular displacements. First is I will rotate it about this axis. Dhyan dijega kaun si axis hai aur ye yaad bhi rakhni hai. So ye jo horizontal axis hai iske about mein se clockwise 90 degree ghuma raho. A vector is this. Clockwise 90 degree rotation. This is A. Are you clear? This is first angular displacement. Now I'll give it another angular displacement which will be about this axis. And I'll rotate it clockwise again 90 degrees. So you can see video conferencing jither likha hua hai lectures recorded record wo is taraf hai mere left side pe hai. So mene kya kya rotations di hai fir se dhyan dijiye. First angular displacement was 90 degree clockwise about this axis. Yaad rakhye ga. Ye ho gaya. First. Are you clear? This is vector A. Suppose. Now second is about this axis. Again clockwise direction. 90 degrees. This is vector B. This is A plus B. And this is the final orientation of this book. Now let's try to do B plus A. And let's see if we achieve the same orientation. Then A plus B is same as B plus A. Am I right or not? Yes sir. Let's see. Now let's do the first rotation first. Ha, tell me what is that? From the top left. From the ye, first. Yeh axis? Ha na? Or kither? Clock, 90 degree clockwise. Am I right or not? Yes, yes sir. So ye 90 degree clockwise? Yes. Ab mein kya karu? This axis? Yes. This clockwise. Bhai ab pehle wali ko second time la raho mein. Ha? 90 degree clockwise. Is the orientation same? So is A plus B equal to B plus A? Is theta 1 plus theta 2 equal to theta 2 plus theta 1? Therefore, angular displacement is not a vector. So when I now ha ha bully my bully. Then why do we call it displacement then? What do we mean by displacement? Yeah. So, displacement is not a vector. This is 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 a Displacement, you have to be a vector. This is a vector. This is a Angular displacement is an angular change in position. That is called. Angular. Angular. You can see the irony. It's a very good thing. That angular displacement is not a vector. But still we are saying angular velocity is a vector. Samaj rahe mein kya bolo? Now where is this catch? Now one way is I give you the right answer. Second way is I tell you to go home and read, read uh, Resnick and Halliday and discover. Which one will you prefer? You tell, you tell us the right answer. <laughs> I knew. <laughs>